What's up challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo. Uh, today's video, it's not going to be a battle. It's not going to be a locker room. It's just going to be a nice fireside chat. Uh, I don't have, I feel like I should put like a fireplace video. Let's see if one of those exists. Oh, heck yes. How can I do this? How can I do this? Okay. Uh, this just turned into... This was not part of the plan. <laughs> this was not a part of the plan. Is it display capture? Okay, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay. Excellent. All right, there we go. So that was not... <laughs> It's not part of the plan. You guys like how I got a green screen and a chair with green on it? Just a phenomenal decision making on my part, although I didn't buy the chair. Uh, someone got it for me. My family got it for me as a Christmas gift. I am digressing a lot. Let's get started on the purpose of this, uh, this fireside chat, guys. The reason uh, I am making this video today uh, is because I'm, I've kind of got some, you need to, you guys like how I'm just definitely not getting to the point here? Please go away. How do you make this go away? Okay, good. We've done it. Okay. Um, uh, I re-recorded this several times before I just now realized that I really wanted to have a fireplace background. And since I've been doing this all on camera anyway, I don't really want to start over again. Uh, I'm just going to go out and say it. I, uh, this is, I have retired from the GBA. Uh, and I don't know that it's going to be a permanent retirement, but I'm certainly not going to be participating in season nine. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is uh, I was this close to not participating in season nine anyway, just because I've got like a lot on my plate right now um, with work, uh, with my personal life as well. I'm having a lot of trouble finding time to really commit to doing the league. And I was about to quit just altogether and retire from Pokemon. And I talked to Envy about it and he said, don't do it. Like, like, I'll still help you team building. We can do it faster. You don't need to put quite so much time into it. Just focus on the battle. Your record might be a little bit worse, but you can still have fun with it. And I said, okay, I'll do it. Um, I'll do one more season of the GBA. I was going to do the monotype drafting, like the gym leader drafting in the GBA. But then we ended up with this let's go Pikachu Eevee thing. And I was really disappointed about that. Because I feel like if we were going to do that, that needed to be like as soon as the game came out. And we didn't do that. Um, so we ended up, I think, wasting too much time. And there's not enough Pokemon in that to really even do a monotype draft. I really wanted it to be an Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, but also I was really bored of that. Um, LGPE, since I knew it wasn't going to be serious, I wasn't going to take it serious. It was going to be like an asterisk next to if you were even a champion that season anyway. So I didn't really care about it. Uh, and I knew I wasn't going to put a lot of time into it, into either editing the videos or even recording them in the first place. Uh, and then MV asked me to join the APA and I thought, this is a good one because now I can actually do a monotype draft. Uh, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted that to be like the thing that was going to reinvigorate me and make me have fun again with Pokemon. So I chose to do that. LGPE was worse than I expected. I already didn't expect much and it was even worse. And so I'm so thankful that we decided to kibosh the season. And with that, since the season was changing, I felt like it was appropriate. It was an appropriate time for me to tell my, my fellow coaches I don't really want this. Um, I really wanted to, like I was very interested in a monotype draft. And when I got it through the APA, um, thanks to MB inviting me and uh, all the great coaches in there accepting me, since I had it, I didn't need anything else. And the GBA was trying to get a season going 
uh, to avoid massive downtime between now and Gen 8 coming out, Sword and Shield. And uh, they, in the decision to put the kibosh on LGPE, which I supported as a decision when they decided, like, okay, let's do this other... They, they have a cool idea uh, with doing the Ubers in there. Um, and I hope I didn't just leak that. I hope that information's already been <laughs> announced. Uh, when they decided to do that, I thought, that's a good idea, and I would have played, and I would have monoed, but I can't do two leaks. I can't. I thought I could if, like, LGPE is going to be a low time investment, but even that, even that, I, I just couldn't do it. So I um, I told the coaches, I hope I'm welcome back. I hope I can stay in the chat. I'll miss you guys, but I just, it's really, it's my life, and I don't want to get, people don't, I know most of the time if I've watched videos like this, people don't super care that much about the details. Uh, and if you don't, I've said my piece and you can kind of end the video here. Uh, if you do want to know more, I'll kind of go a little bit into detail now. Um, I, about a year and a half ago, the chief of my nursing service, uh, I'm a nurse for people who are new to the channel and don't know that about me. I'm a registered nurse and I work on a spinal cord injury unit. Uh, we do acute care and uh, acute rehabilitation for spinal cord injured um, patients. I work at a VA, so I work mostly with veterans, almost exclusively with veterans. And my, uh, my, the chief of my service, so the nurse manager's boss, retired. Uh, I was an assistant nurse manager on that unit, and the nurse manager on that unit took the job as the chief, uh, as an acting chief, and I took the job as the acting manager. In my mind, this I was anticipating this would be a six-month process. We'd hire a new chief. Uh, my boss would come back. I would go back to my job. The problem with this whole thing is, so I took on the job of a manager. I'm pretty new in my career, so it was a challenge for me, but I did it anyway. And uh, Traditionally, there would be two nurse manager, two assistant nurse managers to help the nurse manager. But because I'm one of those assistant nurse managers and I still have my job protected, I only had one assistant nurse manager helping me. And then that assistant nurse manager uh, decided to step down from her position and go back to being a staff nurse on the floor. So now I have no help. I hired an assistant nurse manager to help me, another staff nurse from the floor, but she's very new, requires a lot of training. I never received training. I'm in this massive, really stressful situation that I thought was only going to be for six months, uh, but we just cannot find a chief. And so now we're pushing a year and a half that I've been in this position, not permanent, no end in sight, just hoping, crossing my fingers every single time we post the position and we do interviews that we're going to find a new chief, and so far we have not. So if anyone's watching this and you have five years of nursing rehabilitation background, uh, you have management in your background, and you have a master's prepared uh, nursing degree or administrative degree or higher, please save me, <laughs> apply for my hospital, and <laughs> try and take that job. Uh, but that's the that's the situation there. Um, so I, I've been doing a lot of overtime. Um, my facility was very supportive of me. My leaders have been very supportive of me. I have an amazing team backing me. That doesn't stop me from being a nurse manager with not enough support in the second largest unit in the entire hospital. So I'm I'm struggling a lot with that. Um, it's not a healthy work-life balance to put in a lot of overtime, but I don't have a choice. Either my work suffers, uh, and I'm not okay with that. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I, it, either my work suffers or I put in overtime. And um, the unfortunate thing is that being administrative, uh, as and being I'm exempt, I, I can't even earn extra money from the overtime. So it's a very, very challenging situation I found myself in, and I've just been doing my best to get through it and try and have other outlets of my life not suffer. I play soccer. I play kickball. It's true. Um, and I like to record for YouTube. 
and I like to go to the gym every day and some of those something's got to give uh there's only so much time that i have in my life that i can commit to these hobbies the i played soccer originally every wednesday and sunday i quit the sunday league thinking like i need the weekend days to catch up on the other hobbies or my chores uh, and then i ended up quitting the wednesday league because i could only do it if it wasn't it, there's only one time slot that I could really do. The games are either at 7.30, 8.30, or 9.30. I can't do 9.30 because I have to be in bed by 9.30 to wake up early to go to the gym. And I couldn't do 7.30 because I got off work at 6 if I left on time, and I never do. And then I have a 40-minute commute home because there's traffic uh, at that time. And so, But I never leave on time anyway, so I would never make it to the 7.30 game. So 8.30 is the only games I could make it to. That's a third of the games... As you can see, it's not really worth the money uh, to do that. So I ended up having to drop that. Kickball was the same way. The time slots, there's two game times on every Thursday. So I was struggling to do that. I might be able to take that back. Uh, I work 10-hour shifts now, so I don't, I don't work on Fridays. Friday is the day I try and do all of my recording in the morning and try and get everything done. It's like the best day for me to uh, do my battles. But of course, other people work on Friday too, and so that makes it kind of a struggle if I want to have any kind of social life. And as you can see, the point here is balancing work um, with trying to have a social life, trying to have hobbies that are meaningful to me. I can't do two leagues. If GBA had not been LGPE and I would have been able to mono draft there, I would not have accepted the APA because I know I couldn't do two leagues, especially not ones with massive time investment involved. So I would not have done that. Unfortunately, I I, I made my decision uh, and chose the APA and uh, that's forcing me to make a decision here because I cannot do two. I'm struggling with one. I mean, I'm behind schedule. If you guys have been watching my videos, I had a work conference that I was gone for a week. I came back, I had to quickly battle MV, edit and upload that video and it ended up being late. Uh, it Today is Friday, uh, my recording day, and I just recorded uh, my battle with Six Foot Hacks. Uh, I think I will put this video up after that, so it won't be a spoiler for you. But I'm I'm doing my best to not leave you guys entirely, but I cannot do the GBA this season. I'm going to finish out the APA season. We will see whether or not I choose to re-enroll. I think it will be nice to have another break again, just because uh, I... You guys might not know this about me. I love Super Smash Brothers. I play it all the time. I'm actually pretty good. But um, I haven't played... I played maybe, I think, 30 minutes this morning. Like 15 minutes yesterday. Like 15 minutes the day before that. I kind of... I play it a little bit while I'm waiting for my dinner to cook. And so I'm like... I'm not even like playing the game that I love. Like I'm not even a gamer anymore. I'm just like, I'm in this weird, super weird place, stressed all the time, anxious about YouTube. I think it'll affect my content. I'm going to be bothering my friends. Uh, so it's going to, it's definitely going to have to be a retirement from the GBA for now. And I really hope that I can come back in the future, but I'm not going to tell you I will. And then just like leave you guys high and dry. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what my future is. Uh, with the GBA, with Pokemon in general, I'm just not sure. Uh, in the long, long future, I definitely had this interest of someday streaming or doing YouTube videos for an MMO that's coming out. I, I really like MMOs. I played WoW for a long time. Uh, and I really want to do uh, this game that's coming out called Ashes of Creation. If you guys know much about that game, uh, you you might know why that kind of like speaks to me that game I think it's just so exciting uh, and you guys should check it out and if there's interest there reach out to me maybe we'll play together but that's just sort of that's my vision that's my future that's what we're doing now maybe I'll make another video uh, after the APA is over to tell you how I'm feeling uh, how my stress level is doing what work updates I have for you uh, but I don't see that changing anytime soon, really. And so I 
at this time, I just got I got to leave it at, at what it is, and so I, I have to say goodbye to the GBA. Uh, but you guys will still be getting videos from me every week, two videos hopefully, um, the locker room and the APA week battles every week that I do that, and hopefully an additional one, uh, which is my draft recap for that. So that is the whole story. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. If you stuck with me, not just for this video, but I guess in general, like I think I actually have really good fans. I don't upload consistently, but you guys like wait for me. You say subscribe to me. I never would have dreamed. I, I'm still a small channel. I, I respect that, like only a couple thousand subscribers, but you guys, you guys, a lot of you just stuck around. And I, I really appreciate you all. Um, I think my comment section is insanely positive compared to like what I've seen some other people do. And honestly, I just, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, and as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.